It is time now for the Roadie Roundup. Let's say hello to our panel this morning. We have influencer and photographer Kayla Mandeville. This is her first time joining us on the Roadie Roundup. Also comic Tom Stewart and comic Steve Donovan. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Kayla, I feel bad for you stuck with these two guys today. <laughs> <laughs> they seem okay. They seem okay. They're, they're, they're harmless. How dare you? <laughs> they're harmless. All right, guys, thanks for being with us. Let's get to the first uh, story this morning. There is a restaurant in New Jersey that has said, we don't want your kids coming in the restaurant. We want you to come, have a delicious meal, but if you're coming and you think you're coming and bringing your kids, stay home. We don't want your business. Steve Donovan, how do you feel about restaurants saying, you know what? We like you, we don't like your kids, keep them home. I love it. I have already put my house up for sale and I'm moving to this town in New Jersey. Uh, look, if you think people love their kids, look at parents' faces when someone other than their own kid is performing at a recital. They want to, uh, they want to die. They want to throw themselves down a well. Mm -hmm. Kids are annoying. That's their job. They're figuring out how to be actual humans. And when we've been trapped in our house for three years, we want to get out of the house and, or, or we'll snap. So... No kid, no kids, no thank you. No kids, no thank you. All right, Kayla, you're going to a restaurant. They say keep your kids at home. Are you keeping your kids at home or are you going to another restaurant? Do you like this? I am absolutely keeping my son home. Um, he's <laughs> really well behaved. Um, but to be honest, kids want to be kids. Kids are going to be kids. They're unpredictable, especially the little ones. Mm -hmm. So it's if a restaurant tells you to keep your kid home and they're just trying to protect their atmosphere and they want their diners to have a good time. Right. We want to have a good time. So... Yeah, I support the restaurant. Okay, sounds good. It. Tom, what about you, buddy? Oh, we're three for three. I would, <laughs> I would pay extra to not have any kids <laughs> seated next to me. Every time my wife and I go out to dinner, there's a family with three kids that get sat right next to us, and they're running around. They're playing their loud tablets, and they're just. It, you can't relax. It's, right. It's, yeah, I, I would pay extra for this. I would move right next to that restaurant. Okay, so you and Steve will be moving in together. And that'll be nice. It'll be <laughs> yes, nice. Yeah, a, little roommate, yeah. a little condo in like Newark or something. Be beautiful. <laughs> be beautiful. All right, next up, and I love this story. I really do. I think it's funny. So this story is out of China. A husband in China won $1.5 million from the lottery. He hid his winnings from his wife, saying that he wants to enjoy it alone. Kayla? If somebody in your life wins $1.5 million and they hide it, what are your thoughts on this guy? Yeah, no, that's not going to be okay with me. That's a problem. <laughs> that's a big problem. Um, I want to enjoy it, too. I want to have fun. I think if my husband hid lottery winnings from me, it would be an issue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so, too. I think so, too. Steve Donovan, what about you? <laughs> yes. Uh, this man is not a criminal mastermind. He tried to hide it from his wife. He couldn't even hide it from me, and I wasn't even looking for the story. <laughs> this guy is all sorts of bad luck because she sues and gets more than half of his winnings. Right. And then with the money left over, he bought a hot air balloon to fly from China into America <laughs> and was just shot and killed last week. So, I mean, just a terrible run of luck for this fellow. Things are not going well. Things are not going no. He probably should have just no. said, hey, honey. I won $1.5 million. Go out and buy yourself right. something nice. Yeah, would have been better. Tom, what about you? Are you hiding, uh, hiding your $1.5 million from your, your beautiful wife? Uh, I think I'm just going to tell her because eventually she's going to figure it out when I'm driving around a new truck sure. and, you know, a new Xbox mm -hmm. and living in a whole new house separate from her. She's going to catch on eventually. <laughs> There's some money somewhere. Right. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Uh, lastly, there is a story out of the Huffington Post that talks about your partner's eating habits and how for many, their partner, while they do love them, their eating habits drive them crazy. So... Kayla, is there anything that your that your husband does that your your partner does that drives you crazy when that person is eating? Are you trying to get me in trouble? My first time. On <laughs> Are you trying to get me in trouble? No, just kidding. Um, he doesn't really do anything that bothers me. If I'm in a bad mood, everything will bother me. Sure. Um, but on daily basis, I would say no. His eating habits don't bother okay. me at all. Okay. All right. That's that's a plus. So he scored points. Tom, what about you and Ames? 
Anything drive you crazy well, that she does? <laughs> I, um, yeah, you're going to get me in trouble too, aren't you? <laughs> uh, look, I'm no one to talk because I'm a very picky eater. I'm very particular about things and how to cook them and everything. But there is one thing that she does uh -oh. is uh, <laughs> she won't eat corn on the cob on the cob. She'll take the corn on the cob and then with a knife, scrape the corn off of the cob. Got it. <laughs> and... And I still married her. So. Look at that. Look at that. You're a lucky man. You're a lucky man. No, that's grounds for an annulment right there. That's <laughs> bull stuff. I don't support Steve, anything like Steve's signing that. the legal papers right now for you to get out of <laughs> to get out of that. Right. Steve, is there is, is there anything that your your partner, your your dearly beloved does that drives you crazy? Uh well, sure. Uh and luckily she doesn't watch the road show, so we can go into <laughs> Wait detail. A second. Uh, <laughs> Wait a second. It's not how this is supposed to go. So here's here's it's it's a surprise kind of a thing because uh, she, for a long time she did all the cooking and so now to encourage me to do some of the cooking when there's a meal made she will over praise every bite clearly it's sarcastic and uh, it's you know she's trying to get me to encourage to do more but it's it's just it's just terrible all right okay all right well folks I think you did a great job today Ka Kayla will you come back and join us again. We didn't scare you I off. Might. Right? You might. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll no, take. You Fantastic work, Kayla. We, we will yeah. take. We. I might. That's that's a plus for us. Thanks everybody for joining <laughs> us on on the road show on this Friday. <laughs> it is always great catching up with our roadie roundup panel. And she may or may not be back. <laughs> oh, I'll be back. I'll okay. be back. She'll be back. Great job. <laughs> <laughs>